Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to level up Goku, the new 23rd World Tournament DLC and DBZ Kakarot. So with all that being said, I hope you guys like and leave a comment. If it did help you, please let me know. And with that, let's hop in straight into the video. So to start off, you'll have four difficulties in the new training grounds after you beat the DLC story. You have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and legendary. Now what you want to do is get your hands on the ultimate sacred water because that will level you up to 250 max. And just to start, you want to make sure that you're on the same level as the training ground bosses or at least five levels higher so you are strong enough to beat them. And to make it easier, you can just put the difficulty level on easy so it's a lot quicker to fight the bosses now you can leave it on normal too the bosses are not that hard but to complete these training grounds i put it on easy just so i can get through it a lot quicker and get the sacred waters because the sacred water is the what is what that will uh, help you level up a lot quicker especially as you go on so make sure you're at least on the same level as the training ground bosses or if not five levels higher just keep doing the training grounds um, that's pretty much the only thing that will help you level up here. So yeah, just keep doing that. And make sure you have Limit Breaker Kamehameha. That will also really help you out too. So the thing is here, um, I would say the next topic here is the Z Orbs. Now Z Orbs are an important factor to leveling up also um, any character. And if you're struggling, what you can do is go around the map and collect Z Orbs that way. Or they added this new feature where they added gang hideouts it's pretty much just like enemies um that you would see in regular game but they're just on the ground so there really is no difference but you can go to these uh thug gang hideouts and they will give you at least uh i would say 1200 maybe a little bit more z orbs to collect and that will help you unlock more moves for goku and that's pretty much any way how to do it uh, with any character now it is a little tougher since you don't have the villainous z orb magnet that will give you like 40 like four thousand uh like z orbs like it, it will give you a bunch but you know unfortunately we don't have that and we can't unlock that in this dlc so you kind of have to do it the old-fashioned way just by going to uh thug gang hideouts or uh thug gangs and just beating them and 1200 is a good amount of z orbs to gain um you really don't need too much only because Goku in this DLC does not have that many moves. And one move I will recommend right now and um, to get rid of the enemies a lot quicker is uh, Limit Breaker Dragon Assault. That will... It's basically like um, Vanisher... Like that one move that uh, Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta can do in the D in the second DLC. It's basically like that move. But it's it's not as strong, but it can still, um, oh god, excuse me, guys, it can still take out multiple enemies at a time. So this move is very useful to have with you. So you can complete these thug gang hideouts quicker, and the lesser ones too, the ones that don't have as much enemies. But make sure, like I said, it's limit breaker because that is the strongest one. And as before, this is the best way to get Z orbs as well. Um. So yeah, other than that, I really hope this video helped you guys out. Now, there is a couple of other ways to get XP, such as doing um, um, sub-stories. And you can also get D-medals from sub-stories too, which is pretty much like that in um, the regular story mode. Uh, so Goku, like I said before, he does not have that many moves. Therefore, there's not that many D-medals on the map. There's like 10... D medals on two of the maps, and then there's five D medals in the world tournament area, so there's really not that many. So, yeah, overall, to level up Goku, just do the training grounds that will help you a bunch out, and make sure you put the level on uh, the, the difficulty level on easy. Um, you do not have to do that, I mean, that's honestly not necessary, but that's kind of what I do. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and. If you did, please leave a like, comment. If you didn't, that's okay, too. But, um, yeah, I hope this video helped you out, guys. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.